Hi guys, it's Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today I've got my Y-Start JIN02 in this uh, electric green, and it's going to help me do some unboxings. I've got two packages to look into today, and we're going to take a look at what we got. Let's start out with this bigger one. Woohoo! And this bigger one has got nothing that we're going to need for this channel. It's just some personal stuff. So it's just a little box for some 18650 batteries. And it's an adapter for a hard drive so I can make an older hard drive into a portable hard drive. So not much interest there. Let's take a look at this package. Oh, I need to cut a little bit more. There's a lot of layers here. Okay, we've got three items in this package. Well, let's take a look at the first small box. They put a, their own label over top of the name label, the brand label. So it's hard to see exactly what it is. There we go. Check out this little dog tag knife by HX Outdoors. This is called the... I got newer glasses recently and they're like progressives. And so I got to... Eh, what's the prescription here. Um, I got to get the prescription at the right spot to read what I've got. This is an HX Outdoors ZD-008 with OS8 steel, G10 handle, and then this metal insert is a slip joint. Uh, it's fake leather. That's going to be tossed. So we'll see what we think about this wee knife in a future video. We've also got something by Two Knife. These things have uh, been sent by GearBest for me to review. This is called the Luminescence. Ho, ho, ho. The Two Knife Luminescence. It's got uh, 8 CR14 MOV stainless steel hollow grind, full size knife with blade. Uh, feels like and looks like G10 liner lock. So we'll be taking a look at this guy. And, uh, hmm, yeah, it does have a proprietary pivot on there, pivot screw. That's unfortunate. But we'll take a look at this knife by two knife. And finally, we've got this larger box. And this is also a little, this is also HX Outdoors. And they've got their magnetic box here. And we've got this pouch. And uh, this is not an inexpensive knife, but I asked if I could review this guy as well. I spotted this guy when I was doing my uh, thoughts and plans for the uh, third year anniversary for GearBest and the first year anniversary for my channel. And I debated between this knife and another HX Outdoors knife that was the first prize. And uh, now I've got this black wash version of the ZD-071. Frame lock flipper, sneak up choil, a, uh, I'm not sure, am I going to call that a modified Tanto? What am I going to call that? Not sure. And it's got S35VN steel. I think it's about $130 US. So that makes sense for it to be S35VN. This looks like, wow. It does look like and feel like a very good knife. I'm glad I chose the black wash version instead of the uh, satin version. Because with this, it's not going to reflect light. This is, would be a very useful and functional tactical folder. <laughs> Looks like a nice pocket clip there. So that's the first impressions of this guy. Backspacer of sorts. Very interesting. Okay, this is the second part of the video, and I've got this package. It's a different day now, so that's why I've got a different shirt on. And I even got a different knife that I'm using to open the package. This is the 7094 LTX by Sanran Mew. And it's a new knife that they've got, nice tanto liner lock, 
and it's got a saw as well with a liner lock on the saw. So let's get to opening this package. All the way from Belgium. And inside we've got bubble wrap. And now we've got a nondescript black box. And let's see what we've got in here today. We've got bubble wrap. <laughs> and inside the bubble wrap, we've got a nice fixed blade. This is the Bolt Silver Fox. I ordered this guy on DH Gate. D2 steel, mirror finish on the, the hollow grind here, satin on the flat, harpoon point, nice swedge up there, mirror finish on that swedge, G10 handle scales, and a Kydex sheath with a uh, tech lock type locking system for your belt. Pretty good click. Yeah, a little bit loose, but we'll see the rest of this knife on another review when we get down to it. So yeah, this is the Silver Fox. It's got a date on it of being made in the third month of 2016. Those proprietary uh, screws uh, match their logo, that uh, three-way screw. I think I've got some uh, tools, uh, some three-angled uh, drivers that will work on there. We'll have to go and see if we need a proprietary tool or not. You can use that as a sneak-up trial right there. Maybe not. I don't know. It'll depend. We'll see when we actually go to using it. That might be a little sharp right on that corner. So yes, this is the Bolt Silver Fox Fixed Blade Knife D2 Steel. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb.